Happy day, happy day, and welcome to the Sheila C. Hill Show. And that C stands for come on in this room and have a sit down so we can chit chat just for a little while, baby. Call Mama Nim and tell them that the Sheila C. Hill Show is on. Listen, the Sheila C. Hill Show is the ultimate go-to podcast for ambitious individuals just like yourself who wants a successful and a fulfilling life. And you're going to get valuable insights and expert tips right here at the Sheila C. Hill Show by listening to our inspiring stories from myself and my guests. And it's going to help you improve your lifestyle, grow your business, and enhance your emotional well-being. And every every episode, you're going to gain practical tips and insightful wisdom in the company of a safe, supportive community whom I call Sheila's Thrive Tribe because we thrive over here. And to join the Thrive Tribe, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that follow button and that's how you join us of course we want to welcome you here if you are a new viewer today i want to introduce myself my name is sheila c hill and i just want to say hello hola bonjour como esta ni hao howdy and what's going on my people so glad that you are here now today we have a special guest and i always tell you i bring the best guest in the land and today is not going to disappoint we have a special guest already originally all the way from nigeria what a blessing to have her in today and she's going to talk about her journey and how she even served in the military of the united states and eventually becoming a mentor who teaches others to embrace uncertainty and live authentically so we, at this time, we're going to welcome to the stage, Miss The Amazing Grace. I'm sorry, The Amazing Soul, Elise. Welcome. Hi, hi. Thank you so much for having me, Sheila. Appreciate it. You are, you. So, you are so welcome. So welcome to the show. And go ahead and introduce yourself to my audience. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is the Amazing Soul, and um, born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, and I moved to the states about eight years ago. And I served in the military for about three years. Uh, had fun doing that. <laughs> then I um, transitioned out of the military about two years ago, and. Um, that led me to what I do now, which is um, I teach people how to navigate overwhelming feelings and also break out of limits and belief system and ultimately how their mind works. But yeah, that's what I do essentially. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, could you tell us how do you balance the expectations placed on you from your, say, your upbringing or your culture background with your your desire to live authentically and to pursue a non-traditional path. So how do you, yeah, how do you based on how you was raised, where you're from mm -hmm. to now get mm -hmm. to this place of, hey, be you, live authentic instead of being in that mold? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. I appreciate you mm -hmm. asking me that question, Sheila. So, um, the highest form of intelligence is unlearning. Um, I had to unlearn everything that um, I learned from society or my parents or my upbringing um, for me to really start to live my authentic self. And, you know, as I live my life right now, um, I do not have any expectations of myself or anyone outside of me. Um, there are three reasons why we suffer as human beings, expectations, judgment, and comparison. That's something that I've learned and I have embodied on my journey that dropping those three things has truly transformed my life. So I don't 
I don't strive to make any balance or keep up an image or it's just whatever comes up in the present moment comes up because I have truly taken time to go within myself to peel back the layers of the stories that were given to me and to truly start to know who I really am at a score before I am before I embodied all the stories that society said this is how you should navigate life or my parents passed on from their parents to me so to answer your question no I do not have any expectations of myself I just show up in the present moment and just be I love it I love it I love it thank you that's one thing I I really stand on because I was at a point where I was sort of lost in who I was because of so many expectations from family, from culture, from just your surroundings. So, hey, out that box, I'm like, I don't live in a box anymore. I, I, no, I do not. So I love that about you as well. Okay, so now your decision to reside now in the United States and serve the military, it really demonstrates your willingness to embrace change and challenge yourself in new environments. So kudos to you for that. But how have these expect experiences of the move and being in the military influenced your understanding of resilience and adaptability? Mm. Um, that's a great question. Um, I will say this. The military... Um, was a beautiful experience that there is no price tag on it. It's only basic training. Um, it's a it's a nine week training. I I genuinely thought I wasn't gonna make it out there, but but what that did for my mind was you know the sky is not the limit. Your mind is. It helped me to expand my mind and to expand how what I could possibly do physically and mentally, but I had to go here first. And me being in basic training for those nine weeks really showed me that life is mental. So yeah, the military had a huge impact on my journey now because what it did for me was, hey, if you can see it here, it's possible in physical reality. But yeah. Most definitely. So do you use that approach um, when you're doing your mentorship? Do you incorporate um, that? Yes or no. So how I kind of approach with people is so I don't have a cookie cutter approach with people. So once you have a one on one session with me, um, I have I can see 10 miles ahead of you. I can see where you're self-sabotaging because everyone is different. So some people, I approach them, hey, this is what I learned in the military and this is what helped me transform my life. Some people don't need that approach. Some people need, hey, you know, you need to start to show yourself compassion and go back to the very beginning of your childhood. So I don't have one size fits all. I just, once I start to speak with you and I see where your limiting belief system are, I intuitively know what to tell you so that you can start to apply that that will be specific to your journey. Okay, great, great. Now, um, also, I, I checked the show um, information that you sent in. It says you're author. What book are you author? What's the name of your book? Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I did debut self-published a book last year in November. It's called The Truth Is I Do Not Know fun ways to make your life less complicated. Um, I was able to navigate 20 years of excruciating body pain in one week when I did one thing. Um, I went within myself. I said to appreciate and accept every part of myself that I kept pushing away for over 32 years of my life. And in sitting with myself, my feelings and emotion in one week, pain of 20 years disappeared and stopped. And I decided that, hey, this transformed my life. I need to share with people, millions of people around the world so they can start to transform their life from within. But yeah, that, that's what the book is about. I share fun tools to be present in the body and navigate overwhelming feelings. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm loving this. I'm loving the tips that you're giving and they're so valuable, but we're going to be right. We're going to have a commercial break and we're going to be right back with you to ask you some more questions oh my goodness i love this conversation but i told y'all we was going to bring it and we're going to be transparent today so you can understand where you are and how to move forward 
Are you feeling overwhelmed with projects to build your business? Search no more. Introducing Borrow My VA, a virtual assistant service, your one-stop solution to bid farewell to stress and manage multiple tasks with very little effort. We specialize in website building, funnel creation, automations, and email marketing all under one roof. And here's the best part. We provide all these incredible services at budget-friendly rates. Discover a hassle-free way to handle your projects. No more worries about onboarding or finding that perfect virtual assistant. Our team is all set to tackle your task with efficiency. Now, once you delegate the task, consider it done. Say goodbye to overwhelm. Don't miss this fantastic opportunity to elevate your business. Join our list of satisfied customers and book a free consultation today at borrowmyva.com. That's borrowmyva.com. Thank you to borrowmyva.com for being a sponsor for this episode where we're speaking to the amazing soul, Elise. We're so excited to have her here and tell of her challenges and her outlook in life and just really bless us with the gems and how she's able to help others. So we're going to bring her to the stage, back to the stage. Welcome once again. And and we're so excited to speak with you. All right. So here's another question. Um, As someone who has value um, questioning and seeking understanding, that seems like that's your, your premise is really seeking understanding. How do you encourage others or your mentees to challenge their own beliefs and perceptions in order to gain personal growth and development? That's a great question. Um, So I, 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 I mirror back what I wanna see. So if, you know, someone approaches me, hey, you know, I would love for you to mentor me. I I show you that it's possible through what is going on in my life. And, you know, everyone is seeking two things, peace of mind and happiness. And I show you that, you know, it's happening in my life. And if you can't feel the truth behind what I'm telling you, it's possible for you to. So the moment, you know, people see that, you know, you have done the work, you're not just handing me out textbook cookie cutter stuff it's easier for them to tap into what you have done as a mentor for them to, you know, navigate their life through you. So that's essentially how I navigate that by saying that, Hey, I did the work and, you know, I can give you the tools, but your life is not going to transform a text. You apply those tools because I did the exact same thing too. So that's how I navigate that space by just being an example to people by doing the work. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So with that, as you mentor, is there anyone particular without saying their names that you're, you're extremely proud of, of, of something that they have overcome that they felt that they could not? Um, yes, I do have, um, her name is Ye. Her name is Anna. Um, she's an artist. She was also in the military, um, but now she's transitioned now. And three years ago, when I first saw her, she she raps, she's an artist, but she didn't see what I, the vision I saw for her was, you know, you're going to have an album, you're going to have tours, you're going to have millions of people like screaming your name, wanting to listen to your music from all over the world. She didn't see that, but, you know, constantly in communication with me and me mentoring her, you know, last year, you know, she finally saw it in her mind, you know, and I pushed her you know, to beyond her comfort zone. And now she has her album, you know, and she's working on other projects. And now she's seeing herself going on world tours. But I had to push that limiting belief step in her mind first. That was the first step. And once she could see here, was like, wow, I actually can put up a body of work. And people are all over the world now are appreciating her music. But yeah, um, that's somebody that, you know, I was able to work with. I still work with her, but yeah. That's awesome. It feels so good when you can see that transformation yes. and, and have that testimony from your yes. clients. That is awesome. Congratulations. Thank Let me you. get my little, I don't have my 
clapper. Thought I was gonna have my little clapper. Okay. <laughs> I think it's on the floor. Cause cause baby, I'm extra. Okay. It's it's a film. Okay, so <laughs> you're beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay, so all of that is to be commended. Um now how do you maintain, how do you cultivate and maintain your mindset? Um, because one thing I focus here on this show is mental health as well. So how do you stay in that place to be able to help others? Um, I have reminders. So something I'm very big on is silence. Um, I, I, I consciously um, um, choose to sit in silence at various times of the day. But, you know, but most importantly, um, I remind myself that, hey, you know, life is fun. Life is simple. And once I see my mind overthinking or overcomplicating stuff because of constant meditation, I'm able to observe myself because you're not your thoughts. You're simply an observer of your thoughts. And I remind myself that, hey, one new life is mental. And I just take deep intentional breaths and start to, you know, observe myself and see my mind just yapping. And the more I just take deep breaths, go into nature, hug myself, you know, feel my feelings. I'm just trying to center myself. The more I do that, I'm back to the present moment. And I remind myself that, hey, the only thing that truly matter is this present moment. And the more I just remind myself and just start to find ways to bring my body back here in my mind, it's easier for me to navigate more seamlessly. And also, there's something else to tell myself. Life is a game. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> just have fun and be childlike. You know, and I just tap into that childlike version of myself and I just keep having fun and just going with the flow and whatever shows up, shows up. It's not, it's not that serious. I don't take myself seriously. And that's something that has truly, truly helped me navigate life seamless and whatever life throws at me is easier to navigate that way. If I remind myself of those pointers. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes. Because it's so many times that we are so serious. And if we can have that childlike faith, if we can have that childlike mindset, we will just go further in life. Because a lot of times people are like, why are you laughing? Why are you just so jolly all the time? Why not? Why not? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> are you kidding me? No, everything's not per perfect, but I have an outlook, but everything is fine because when you when you process and you're in the moment of being, enjoying just be, then it changes your whole perspective and you're not forcing being ahead of time. So when you focus with being, it's, it's, it's so liberating and it is so freeing. And a lot of people don't allow themselves to get there because their minds are so cluttered with everything, with tasks, with things they have to do, the bills, the children, the spouses, all of that. But it's like, that's not who you are. Mm -mm. And a lot of people don't know who they are <laughs> because they are so drowned in all of these hats and all these titles that they wear and they miss out on life. They don't tap into their purpose and that is the biggest mistake. And one thing I was speaking with someone one day and I said, you know, the, if I can take you to one place that has the most talents in the world. And they said, well, where would that be? I said, the graveyard. So many have, people had so many talents, so many gifts, but they chose not to tap into that. And they just live with all of this clutter and life was gone before they tapped in. Yes. So listen, all my gifts, baby, they go, I'm going to be in the red. They're going to be like, okay, I'm going to use somebody else. <laughs> yes. Honey, no, no, life is too short. And you hate to say, oh, they was, you know, they was this and they have, oh, they was just made me laugh and they cooked the best cake or they had this gift. They could draw, they can this. But they don't even know it and tap into it. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. get me started because I just be. 
<laughs> Beautiful. I love it. And I love it because too, because a lot of people say, um, oh, you've changed. Duh. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to change. We are supposed to to evolve. Just like if a if a caterpillar a, it, that was in the chrysalis never broke out of that chrysalis and never bloomed, they will never change and they will actually essentially die if they stay in that. So, yes. You know. Yes. I will I will add this to this though. Um, this is a quote um, that I would love to share with you and your audience and everyone listening. You've already achieved the things you said will make you happy. I'll say that again. You have already achieved the things you said will make you happy. So what mm. is happiness really? It's not that six-month goal or five-year goal. It's this present moment. The magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding. This present moment is rich. It has everything. See, if you keep if you keep having a goal, you know, you're going to feel, feel empty the same way you felt in this present moment until you do the work, until you go within. That's when you start to realize that you don't need anything or anyone outside of you because you're complete, you're whole. But yeah, come on. <laughs> I got my clapper. Yes, baby. Yes. I yeah. love it. I love it. That is so, so true. And if people will really just bring it in and make it a part of their life, like I, I, I have a saying, everything that you need is inside of you. You just have to tap in and realize that it is there and it's there. Everything you need until the end of time is inside. We have to be truthful to our, ourselves to pull back those layers. We have to be truthful to ourselves to, to, to be honest and say, what, who are we? You know, yeah. if we don't like something just because, you know, great grandma made meatloaf and that's the family favorite. If you don't like meatloaf, you don't like meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a tradition. It doesn't matter. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, let me go. Cause I could be talking about this all day. <laughs> Honey. Um. Because listen, life is too short. But um, so the amazing soul. Okay, so the amazing soul. Is, did that come from you tapping in and finding who you are, and you you led and leaned into that? Um, three four years ago, when I started my you know awakening journey. Um, the Amazing Soul came through to me and it was just a name that I embodied over time because it made me really go within to question who I really was. And it just kind of stuck, you know, I'm not, I'm not attached. So something about me, I'm not attached to concept. You can call me, my birth name is Oma Wanola. Um, okay. I also go by the Amazing Soul. I also go by Wano. Whatever name you want to call me, I'm not attached to the name. It's just a name because it's just words, right? But that's how the amazing soul came up, and I just go by that now. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. The amazing soul. Please tell our audience your last words or inspirations for them. You drop so many gems. And also, if you have anything to offer, you have any events coming up, or you have, tell us where we can reach, we can have your book um, and everything. Please make sure you follow her. All of her information and her website is in the show notes. So make sure you tap on that. But if you can just close us out and just let us know how we can reach you as well. Okay. Um, so I will say this. Um, be here now. Be present. The only thing that truly matters is this present moment. Enjoy the simple things of life. I remember life is mental. Everything you see is a projection of your mind. Go back to your mind and your belief system and start to have fun with this beautiful game. You and I call life. Um, if you want to reach out to me, it's amazing soul on all social media platforms. And I'm actually, speaking of life is mental, I'm actually having an event. It's called Fab Fayetteville this weekend, um, Hay Street, 212 Hay Street. Um downtown Fayetteville it's about feelings arts and books 
I'm going to be having a fable based artist, really dope ass artist, sharing his story on how he's been living authentically through his art. I'm also going to be launching my book um, where I share fun ways to navigate your overwhelming feelings. And I show you how your mind works so you can break out of limits and belief system on money relationships with people and relationships with yourself. Once you have the tools to navigate life, it becomes more seamless. But yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. And that is Fayetteville, North Carolina. Since yeah, I saw the show. They were looking at Fayetteville, Arkansas, saying, where's she at? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, thank you very much for um, for being a wonderful guest and sharing your knowledge. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to take you backstage, and we're going to close out the show. Listen, listen, guys, I told you you was going to enjoy this. Really, I really want you to take the cues, take the advice, take the tips and the gems that the Amazing Soul mentioned on today, and really have that and look inside of yourself so you can have that awakening for yourself as well. So you can start enjoying life to the fullest. It's more to life than just worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow or worrying about these bills or these kids that lost their everlasting mind. Okay. It's okay. I want you to tap in so you can have that peace so you can understand where you are. So at the end of the day, listen, if you have not subscribed to the Sheila Seahill Show, go ahead and do so. So you can be notified when I bring these awesome, awesome guests in. At the meantime, you know how we do it here. If there's anyone that's out there, you have not heard this today. Know that you are loved and you are highly appreciated and your life matters. So tap into it, do the best that you can do and always pay it forward because we need you here. So at the end of the day, it's time to go. Until next time to the Sheila C. Hill Show. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Love, peace, and peace.